officially the hate week against the New Orleans Saints. That first one was just a gimme. That was just a response to old, to old dumbass Jamal Seaton, the guy who spends the entire offseason trolling and talking about black women in a bad, negative way. But other than that, I'm back for hate week. You know, I've been discussing things with some Saints trolls who have been telling me, well, you know, we had a top five defense. And uh, it was a top five against the rush. I don't care about your top five rush defense, man. Your pass defense, whatever the hell. Because I already told you, we got something for you. It's the O-line. We addressed the receiver core. We now got a number three receiver. So let me ask you something, Saints fans. All right? And even 44 Legendary, which I'll respond to him shortly. How the hell are you going to stop D-Hop? And you're going to stop Will Fuller? And you're going to stop... Um, and you're going to stop Kenny Stills. How the hell are you going to be able to stop all three of those guys? Now you can say all you want and make fun of us about the Devaneo Clowney trade or whatever and how we blew all of our, you know, we got garbage picks and Markevious Mingo and some third round conditional draft pick. It doesn't matter, man. We're going in all now to win. You guys are in for a rude fucking awakening come Monday Night Football. Because when we come in the door, we're going to kick that motherfucker in and we're coming in and whooping some ass. That's what's going to happen in the Superdome. And Jamal Seaton, I already know your ass is hiding from me. I've been asked, I've been asked your punk ass for a response. Saints fans, you poot at, you Ains fans, how you're going to lose this game? It's going to have to keep it short and simple. First of all, we don't need a run game. Duke Johnson is just is just there on a third down situation. Uh, you know, third and down, third and goal, whatever, and pound it in with him. That's all we need him for. The pass game speaks for itself. We got Deshaun motherfucking Watson. The passing game. Drew Brees is getting older. I don't think he's nowhere. I, you know, honestly, I don't even think he's going to repeat that same performance he had last year. And 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 you guys struggle in the very first week of the season. We all know that. You guys are known for choking. You guys choke in the first two or three games. You got to play catch up. They put you up against one of the most prolific up and coming teams that the NFL has ever seen in the Houston Texans and one Deshaun Watson. Now, yeah, we can talk about J.J. Watt and his injuries and how he's possibly going to retire after his contract's up, you know, in two years or whatever. That's fine. That's why it's important. It's very important that we get J.J. Watt a ring. The Super Bowl is in Miami this year. February, what, 4th, 2020 or February 5th or February 3rd or the 5th, one of them days. And I want the Houston Texans name on that stamp. I want us to come out of the AFC. I don't want New England coming out. I don't want Pittsburgh coming out. I don't want any other team. I just want the Houston Texans to do whatever they got to do. We can win this shitty-ass division we're in against St. Nicholas Foles, 
Marcus, I can barely start Mariota. Can't stay, can't stay healthy. And then of course you got uh, what what is uh, uh what is it that the uh, that the Colts have? Jacoby Brissett. I mean, he's probably the best out of the three quarterbacks in our division. And even then, he's still just average at best. Deshaun Watson right now currently is the best quarterback in the AFC South. We talk about the aerosol offense. You got Michael Thomas, who's been there forever. He's an old man. He's not going to last that much longer. His legs are giving out, and he's stupid. And then you got the, uh, who else do you got? Ted Ginn Jr. Please, how many teams does he go to? That guy ships, ships around faster than UPS. That guy's, that, that, that guy's on one team tomorrow, then he's on the next team the next day. God, that guy's terrible. And, and who do you got at, at tight end? A nobody? And let's talk about your defense. What defense do you have? What defense? Explain it. The only guys I see that you got on defense is what? Cameron Jordan and Malcolm Brown? That's it? That's all you got? Malcolm Brown from New England who's used and washed up? Are you referring to him? Are you referring to Cameron Jordan? You talking about that clown? You got him on your squad still? Wow. And then you got Eli Apple. I don't even want to start on that one. Let, let's, not, let's not even go in that conversation. So who do you got as secondary? Are you bringing Joey Porter out of retirement? <laughs> man, I'm telling you what, man. You And then you guys, the stupidest thing that the New Orleans Saints did, other than bringing Des Bryant, was cut a guy by the name of Little Jordan Humphreys at the wide receiver position. Motherfucker, that was going to be possibly your best fucking receiver going into the fucking game. And from my Texas Longhorns, and you guys cut him. Are you fucking kidding me? Why would you guys cut little Jordan Humphreys, who, in my opinion, is better than Michael Thomas? Who, in my opinion, is better than Ted Ginn Jr.? I win in this game. In fact, I know as the days start to go forward and forward and forward, as we're now on a Thursday, I realize... I am now starting to be more 100% assured of myself that you guys have no way of winning this game. And I know, you know, a lot of critics, a lot of ESPN analysts, and even some of these people here on YouTube who've done their picks have wrote, have written us off. But we don't need a run game to beat you guys. And in fact, we don't even need a top premier pass rush because Whitney Merciless is going to do all that in the video, which I'll put his link at the bottom of the description. He posted a bet, and the bet was 50 bucks. And he also betted Lowell to Houston as well. Let me answer to you like this. I don't do money bets. I used to do hat bets, money bets. I'm retired from that. I, I, I stopped that last year. Last year was the last time I, I did money bets. I, I don't do that no more for various reasons. Um, you know, not that I'm saying you won't pay me if I win. I'm not, not you know, questioning your credibility. I just personally don't do money bets. I do video bets. I got a humiliation bet up against one of my buddies who made a bet and I thought that I said you know what I'm gonna do this bet just because if he loses I'm gonna get personal fucking thrill out of posting his shit on Facebook pictures videos and everything all right I'm gonna get a personal motherfucking enjoyment out of this shit you guys are gonna go 0-1 again you're gonna have to take an 0-1 okay none personal but you guys are going 0-1 because think about it if Ryan Fitzpatrick in Tampa Bay can go in your house and kick your ass and Fitzpatrick, a.k.a. the Fitz Magic, came from, and he threw for, like, five TDs in that game, I know damn well this fucking team could do the same. Deshaun Watson is going to be in his – this is his breakout year because this is his third year in the league. He's over that sophomore hangout, those two ACL tears, and he's done. He's healed up. He's ready to go. And he's ready to light the field up, and we're going to get five, six touchdowns in that game again. I told you guys the final score – was going to be the Houston Texans 41, the New Orleans Saints 38. And it might even possibly be an overtime game on Monday Night Football. Who knows? A, a video bet, like, I don't have a problem with doing a humiliation bet or a video bet, like, you know, hot sauce or bust an egg over your head or something like that, like something kind of cool, you know, humiliating, like, or I have to sing the Saints fight song or you sing the Texans fight song or I rep your team for one hate week or vice versa. Like, I do stuff like that. I said I heard 42-14. Man, what the hell are you talking about? The fuck out of here. How the hell is your, your shitty-ass defense going to hold the Texans to 14 points? I'm even giving the Saints credit. I said 41-38. I, I, I've given you guys credit for that. I said it's going to be a close game. It's going to be a shootout. Sean Watson's going to lead a game one and drive. We'll kick the game one and field goal. Texans win. What do you want me to say? That's just what my gut's telling me. So anyways, I'll be looking forward to Jamal Seaton because I know his ass is hiding right now. He's like, his ass, he don't want to see me. I've already been roasted his ass, and his ass is hiding now. 
line up out of here. I got some wings. Uh, I'm gonna go home and go finish, and then I'm gonna go roast Jamal Seaton in the comment section and go troll him some more on his Facebook account. So until next time, I'm signing out. Oh yeah, sub to the 44 Legendaries channel. His channel is at the bottom of the description, and I'll have Jamal Seaton's channel, and I'll be going to troll him some more. Thank you very much. Goodbye.